Hi everyone, this is Brendan here. First off, I'd like to thank you guys for congratulating me in the comment section below. So I really truly appreciate it. And of course, this uh, won't have been done without the effort of all you guys and also the support from you guys and also my clan mates. So uh, I've created this FAQ videos to answer most of your questions that you guys have been asking me for the past few days. So the first burning question that I've been receiving is, why are my cups so low? So as you can see now I'm at 2,500 but if you look at the previous two videos that I just posted, I was at 380 over cups. I will put a link in the description below to link up uh, the two videos that I just mentioned. It is talking about uh, unbreakable achievement, how to achieve it and also my attack wins record of 25,555 of how did I do it. So why are my cups so low? Of course, the only reason is because I had to go all the way down to do this video for you guys to show you guys how did I do the achievements. So yeah, that's one of the questions. But don't worry, we'll be pushing up to champions probably in 12 hours or so. So as you can see, uh, I did some raids, uh, did some uh, patching and also did a few hundred percents with uh, Gova Wipe. So we will look at some of the replays as I answer some of more of your questions. So as... The second question usually that I receive is, which country am I from? Um, I'm from Singapore, in Southeast Asia, it's a small little tiny country, people usually call it the tiny red dot, and uh, it's a really really small country with just a population of roughly 5 million people. So um, it's not big, but uh, we it's a very conducive and cohesive uh, country, in fact it is one of a very very uh, good and uh, first, first world country in the world. But uh, of course, I would love to go to other countries to visit uh, third world countries, in fact. And I have uh, gone to many third world countries, such as uh, Africa or so. And I would really love to go there and help out to do some community work, etc. So that's it for um, the second question that I've just talked about. The third question that I've always been receiving, which is, uh, which clan am I in? I'm currently in Mega Empire Asia. If you guys were to go to the top 10, top 200 leaderboard we are actually the top 10 clan mega empire asia we are part of mega empire which is our family clan our main family clan so that's uh my clan if you guys want to take a look it's basically just going to the leaders board going to the top clan and then after just scrolling down to probably the number nine or ten or so we are over there so mega empire asia i'm in there i will permanently be there so the sorry the third um question that i fourth question that i've been receiving how did i level up this quickly um i don't think i would like to explain that as it will be a very long process but uh, i'll just do show you a video which i have put in the description below a link so hope you guys will take a look at it and uh, don't have to keep asking me how did i level up this fast as uh, it's really tiring to keep answering you guys the same question over and over again. It's nice to have you guys keep answer asking me the questions and I'm I'm willing to answer but then it's really really too many. It's roughly like around 300 messages in an hour or so. Um, and I'm pretty sure you guys are really really curious to know how did I level up this fast also. And I'm willing to answer but of course my fingers and hands are too occupied in doing other stuff. Especially even on Clash and doing uh, personal stuff. So I won't be able to reply all the messages and even if I reply it's like say 10 messages another 50 comes in so I can't reply all. So hopefully this video will help us out to not uh, have some trouble in getting the questions being answered. So now to the fifth question. When did I start clashing? This is also another question that I've been receiving a lot. So I started on the 28th of March 2013. How do I know this? It's because I checked my achievement, my uh, go storage, uh, the level 2 go storage which was built on the on that date itself. So technically speaking, I started around almost 2 years, almost 2 years. But it's been a very very fun 2 years. So fun that I've really enjoyed uh, the company of my clan mates and also the company of uh, playing Clash with other strangers such as you guys. And of course, hope you guys can be part of uh, my friends and also uh, be my subscribers definitely so um, the next question is how much have I spent on clash um, I don't really feel comfortable uh, how to say um, disclosing this info as uh, it's personal info but of course it's 
definitely cheaper than another online game that, that I've played. I've actually played uh, Maple Story C. Last time uh, I was uh, top in that particular game itself. So I spent roughly three times the amount. I roughly spent five digit on that game. So to play Clash is not very expensive. That's one. Even playing all the way to Champions League. But of course, if you want to jam up your base to max base, it's not cheap. In Singapore dollars, it's 13 over 1,000. In USD, it's roughly 11 over 1,000 if I'm not wrong. So yeah, that's it of how much I actually spent on Clash. I don't think I would want to disclose that. So sorry if you guys are disappointed by that. So how many hours do I Clash a day? Um, on average, I usually Clash around... Uh, 12 to 14 hours sometimes if I'm really really hardcore for the day I will do around 16 to 18 hours but sometimes when I'm relaxing I will do maybe around uh, 8 to 10 hours uh, what I mean by clashing is not like um, play and then just play and play and play constantly but as in I even count as staying online having a uh, doing other stuff um, to be clashing so the next question as um, some of you guys have been asking me how do I have so much time to clash? Which is uh, the answer some uh, people have also been saying, some of the top farmers have also answered, which is multitasking. One of the person who have mentioned about that is Tyro. Tyro, he is also a YouTuber. I'll put his link in the description below. If you guys are interested, you guys can take a look at it. He is a, he's also a, a farmer and he's a multitasker just like me so the way we do things if, is we clash and at the same time we are also doing personal stuff such as work for me i was doing uh, administration work in the military last time so technically i was doing office work so right in front of the computer i was do using my device at the same time using uh, the computer and doing some work so that's how i actually have more time to clash but of course if there's too much work to ha handle of course, we have to forego playing the game and focus on the work. That's more important. Work definitely comes first, game definitely comes second or even last. So what am I going to do after my level 300 achievement? Some of you guys have been wondering, I might just quit the game or whatsoever. Uh, no, definitely no. I mean, this is just another beginning of another adventure. Uh, probably going to push to the leader's board, hopefully to reach uh, maybe top 50 or top 10. Uh, we will see as how it go as uh, it's a really really difficult uh, thing to do as I have experienced uh, reaching all the way to 4,377 trophies and it's really really tiring and time consuming that's one and also it's not up to you to decide whether you can get the achievement or not to reach all the, all the way that high because sometimes the trophies just do not come for you the bases just do not appear for you it's just to totally depend on luck so we will see we will see so what's my next achievement? So as mentioned, um, that will be my next achievement um, to reach the leaderboard and of course to also join my clan Mega Empire Asia for clan war. Uh, probably doing a permanent clan war with them as, as I've not been warring with them for many many months. I've uh, technically taken leave from my clan for roughly 5 months. My leader, um, he was really really nice to let me take leave for such a long time. So I would like to thank him also. Uh, leader is actually not Super Ken, but uh, is Roger. Roger at number six. He's the one who uh, gave me approval of having a five months leave. So being away from the clan that long, uh, the clan points was actually down a bit, definitely. But don't worry, I'll be pushing my way back to 4-3 or maybe even 4-4. Four, four, four. So with that said, I would like to thank you for watching my video and... Definitely, I will push all the way to champions and hopefully be able to give you guys more footage. So, don't forget to clash on.